Hey guys, let's take a look at what a difference bidding can make on locks. Uh, here you saw me pick this cobalt earlier, and you, you saw me exploit this in, I don't know, four or five different ways to get it open. And the reason we were able to do that, uh, of course, is that even though there are six pins on this lock, uh, they're all pretty much the same. They're all very, very close to each other. So when we tried to rock it, we tried to rake it, we tried to pick in a variety of different ways, of course, uh, it, it was very easy. For example, let's just see if we can't rock this thing real quick so I can demonstrate. Um, just put it in there. When the pins are not security pins and when they're very close to one another, all we need to do is just put our pick in and just kind of rock it like so and we get an open. And that's because, again, it's a crappy pinning. Now sometimes we get a lock like this one. Although th that one is 50 millimeters and this one is only 38, it's a much smaller lock. Uh, it is a little bit different because of the pinning. It's only got five pins, but we have a wide variation as you see here. We got a lot of ups and downs, and this thing can be, if we can get it to focus there, there we go, it can be quite a challenge to get into. We're not going to be able to rake this one. We're not going to be able to rock it. We're not going to be able to Bogota it. We're not going to be able to zip it. So when you have a lock with this wide variation, the only real uh, way to reliably get into this thing, of course, is to is to SPP it, and that's what that's what locks are all about: is delaying somebody. You're not going to stop them, but you can delay them. And this lock, although smaller and with fewer pins, I think you'll agree it's going to delay us a little bit longer if I can get it to cooperate here. It's not an easy lock to open. No, no. Uh, no kidding. Even though it's a piece of junk. Come on, baby. And there's another reason. We got a secret sauce that makes these locks even harder. And as soon as I get this thing picked, if I get it picked, <laughs> we will see if we can't explore that secret sauce. Okay, let's try this again. We'll reset. We got a fault set, but that's not because of security pins. There are no security pins in this in these locks. Instead, it's because of the crappy pinning. So we got a combination of crappy low tolerance pinning, which helps us get into these. But we also have the secret sauce. And here's the secret sauce. When I opened the package of this new lock, I struggled with this thing for a long time. I couldn't believe how much trouble these five pins were giving me, but I noticed some stuff falling out on the desk. So I took this lock and I soaked it in a glass of water here in my hotel room uh, for three days. Every day I'd pick it up and swish it around for, every time I walked by it I would swish it around, just swirl it around inside of that water. And at the end of the day, today, I took that water out and I ran it through a piece of toilet paper and I don't know if you can quite make this out, but all of the sand came out. So we all complain about the crunchiness of what I believe are Chinese locks. That's because they have this material in there. Now, it's not because they work under dirty environments, but it's, I believe it's instead because they probably cast these brass locks in sand molds, and then they just simply brush off you know, the biggest part of it, and they shove the core in there, they pin it in place, and then that's the end of it. They forget about it. But that sand, over time, works its way into the pins, into the tumblers, and then we have to deal with it when we're trying to pick it. So that's what we're feeling, fellas, and that's why some of these locks, in, in combination with the wild bidding, that's why I think they give us this really poor feedback and make it difficult for us to open some of these locks. Anyway, there you go. It does make a difference in pinning, and it also makes a difference if you throw in a little extra handful of, uh, well of secret sauce. Anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal.